So what are some of the things that you've enjoyed? I've personally enjoyed biology and chemistry, um, mainly sciences and math. Um, okay, Andrew. You're in challenge two, no, three this year. So what are some of the things that you've enjoyed or learned um, over the years in CC? I've enjoyed building up uh, through the different challenges and getting to the point where you can become independent and you can work on your own, but also getting to lead some of the classes, which is what you start doing uh, a lot in challenge three. And so it's good to see where some people shine. They like to take some subjects and then even if you're not as strong in one, you still get the opportunity to teach it and help each other out through it. And I like math and chemistry, so basically math. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, how have you, uh, and this will be more for Hannah and for Andrew, because um, Cora hasn't um, done debate formally yet. Um, how have you grown in your debate skills or your discussion skills over um, the last several years? I think with debate, uh, it's still hard. It's never an easy thing with debate. And for some it's easier than others. But what I've enjoyed with that is um, the opportunity to not only get to do your own debates, but you get to watch everybody else's debates. And then you can even grow and adjust in that and trying to write down things while they're debating and coming up with things, oh, I, I would have said this, or picking up on those things, and it just gets easier and easier, and you get faster, and Good. thinking on your feet. Good. Um, Hannah and Cora, I know that you both um, schedule your time very well. How, have it, how hard has it been to schedule your week and what you need to do um, when you just have the one guide listing what you need to do for the entire week. How do you break up your um, what you need to do each week? Well, the planner, the CC planner is excellent. Like it's really a nice tool to use. Um, and then I take when I use like my notes and stuff from the class, and then I have the guide in front of me as well. And then I just like a lot of times it's already somewhat broken up a little bit into what you can do each day um, but then a lot of times you have to like get the things you're actually going to be working through and break them up into what you're going to do each day. Good. All right, Hannah. I know Hannah um, it does gymnastics outside and so she has 16 hours of training outside of the CC and so she has to schedule her time. How do you get everything done? when you have um, a busy schedule? It's really just managing your time. Like, you have to get up early and time yourself on each subject for like an hour at the very least. Um, and just see what you get from there. So what do you use to schedule your time? Or how do you schedule your time? Um, just you use a planner as well, don't you? And write down what you need to do. Right? How hard is it to get through all that you need to do in a week? The three of you. It varies from week to week, at least in challenge B. Like sometimes you'll have one subject that you have a lot to do in one week, but then you don't have a lot the next week, so you just have to like go through the guide and figure that out. Um, but then there are some times, like you might have to work a little bit on the weekends or something if you had something going on in the week that you have to like catch up on. Mm -hmm. Anything else? What about friendships? How, how, how has the accountability of other people in your class um, and your tutor helped with getting things accomplished and finished and, and done each week? Mm -hmm. 
put about for you guys in the upper where there's a lot of discussion. Yeah, if you don't, it, with a bigger class or with uh, lower levels of challenge, the higher that you get up, the harder it is to just disguise yourself in a group and get away with not doing anything in the week or not doing as much as you're supposed to. And you have to know the subject, uh, not just that week, but have done it in the past and build up to it so that you're able to discuss. Good. So what would you say to um, kids or parents who are just starting um, in the challenge program? Um, what advice would you give them? To not give up, because at first it's going to be really, really difficult, but it will get better and it will get easier, and the result in the end will be beneficial, I believe. Yeah, and like as you go on, you kind of understand what's going on more and how different strands are like more discussion based or more like working based. Like it helps once you get into it to like know what you're doing. Okay. How helpful was it to have had um, the memory work from Foundations and Essentials before you went into Challenge? That's a big help, especially like with the Latin like declensions and conjugations and stuff to go ahead and try and get those under your belt before jumping into the memory books. Or like I know in Challenge A, you have like a whole geography seminar that you're doing and so memory work for that is really helpful too. Right. What about for you guys? Is it helpful? I know you only had like one or two years before of foundations and essentials before challenge. Do you think that it was harder to learn some of the other things? No, I think it was good just generally getting the I think what everybody brings up is Latin declensions and it really is just that much easier to not have to keep looking back at them and you can sort of, you know, you say, say it in your head, but you're really singing it in your head. It mm -hmm. might take you five seconds extra to get the tune, but it's nice. Good. All right, anything else you want to tell them before they get started in the challenge programs? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, thank you guys.